Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. Welcome. Welcome to Adventures in History. Today's topic is John S. Ray's Oberlin College Diary, 1946, Part 18. And my father was, this is a continuation of his senior year at Oberlin College. And uh, this originally was published, this is the first half of ZFM's of Zook Family Memories Collection, or ZFMC number 44, published on February 25th, 1994. February 20th, 1946. The psychology exam this morning was about what we expected. I predict a C-plus for the course. Only got a C in advanced organic chemistry. I worked on literature a while this afternoon. We found out this evening that Bob Slaughter went to the hospital this morning. It seems that his burns were bothering him again last night. Poor guy. He'll be out tomorrow. Nancy Wilson and I read 50 pages of Jean Christophe this evening. A very good book. Drummond and I had a big session on literature this evening. This literature is good stuff. Wes Simon is definitely staying. February 21, 1946. The literature quiz this morning was quite a bit rougher than we expected. I predict a C-plus for the course. I picked up a rotten C-plus in psychology. Bob Slaughter got an A-plus in in art survey. Good man. I pooped around this afternoon, then worked, worked a while on religion. Nancy and I went to a screwball show this evening and had a fine time. February 22. Somehow or other, I managed to pick up a B-plus in physical chemistry. The religion was very long and very fair this afternoon. This evening, we had a little party at Presti's. Nothing but a good time. If Nancy and I can hold out for two years, it will be a miracle. Wayne Duff, Red, Wes, Dick, Walton, and I really had a brawl up here in the room after midnight. The gin, the gin was not much good, but I might say that we really had a party. Mm mm. February 23. Nothing but aching heads in the room this morning. It seems that the window was closed last night. Oh me. We all took our dates to DeFazio's for breakfast. The Partridges were there too. Graduation went off without a hitch. Bruce Partridge was the only one to graduate with honors. We're really going to miss the lads next term. We cleaned up the room somewhat after graduation and Nancy and I caught the bus for Sandusky, Ohio. Everything seems to be going along very nicely. February 24. We took off for Marion, Ohio this morning and have had nothing but a big day. Nancy met all of the folks and played for about an hour. She made a big hit with everyone, and I was very proud of her. Tom Zook is moving to California with Grandma and Grandpa Zook this next summer, so I'll have one connection there. We drove back this evening. February 25. Nancy and I caught the train for Winchester this morning. I might say it was a little stuffy in the last car. Her parents met us at the train station. Her father seems to be a jovial old soul, but I'm not too sure about her mother. February 26. We slept 11 hours last night. Ho-hum. Had breakfast at noon. Nancy drove through the spots of Richmond this afternoon and showed me the sights. She certainly went to a wonderful high school. We sang hymns around the piano this evening. The Wilsons seemed to enjoy it very much. We were knocking it off early. February 27th. I had a long talk with Mrs. Wilson this morning before Nancy got up. I think we're buddy-buddy from here on in. This afternoon, we... Went over next door and played some records. Very fine stuff. This evening, Nancy took me to dinner at the Leland Hotel. It was very enjoyable. Then a good show. Nothing but a big evening. I hope we didn't mess up the works after we got back to the house. February 28. I think everything will be all right, but we certainly gave ourselves a big jolt. Nancy drove me out to the edge of town this morning and I took off. I hope the next five days pass very quickly. I stopped off in Delaware, Ohio to see Harold and Marge Fralick. They are living very simply, but apparently very happily. His school starts the same day as ours. He gave me a lead on engagement rings, so I also stopped in Marion and saw Aunt Edith Reidenbaugh. 
I think we'll get a good deal. I was dead tired when I hit Sandusky about 6.30 p.m. A letter from Bob Slaughter says that Dean Bosworth is a little irate about our performance the other evening. Oh, me. Good night. March 1. I slept 14 hours last night. Dr. Hoyer filled three more of my teeth this afternoon. That finishes that. My brother Dick and I went out to Uncle Fred Zook's this afternoon and shot at the ice chunks in the lake. Then we drove over to Lakeside, Ohio. I'm getting more used to our car now. March 2. I took off for Cleveland this morning and saw Dr. Parsons at 2.30. He okayed the California idea, so everything's hubba hubba. I made it back in time for dinner this evening. We all went to see the movie The Lost Weekend. It was pretty grim. I think I'll buy Nancy's Diamond in Sandusky. March 3. I didn't get up until 1.30 this afternoon and caught up on my writing this afternoon, and we all went out to Uncle Fred Zook's. He is recovering very nicely from his appendectomy. I played Pop six games of ping pong this evening. We've certainly been getting a lot of enjoyment out of the ping pong room. March 4. My brother Dick left for school this morning. I checked on Nancy's diamond this morning, and I think she'll really go for it. I hitchhiked over this afternoon, and Dean Bosworth hasn't done anything drastic. Vince and Raj are down the hall from us. We're going to have a good floor. I had a long chat with Bob Slaughter and saw Nancy this evening, and she and her mother had some trouble about the cocktail we had at the Leland. Oh, me. However, we had a fine evening anyhow. I had a, and had a quick one at Presti's and met the lads later at the pool hall. March 5. Sociology looks like it might be an interesting course. Our new psychology professor also looks good. I had a long talk with Nancy after lunch and got her straightened out on something else. We're going over to Sandusky tomorrow afternoon to look at the diamond. We went to Rec this evening and down to the campus with Beth and Red. She thinks she's going to UCLA now. Ann Reese is trying to give her a bad time, but I don't think it'll work. Everything is looking up. March 6. Professor Kurtz gave me only a B in German, the old stinker. Literature looks like it'll be interesting again. Nancy and I went over to Sandusky this afternoon and looked at rings. She picked the same one Mother and I had. I'll be able to get it Saturday. I gave, her another lecture, I gave her another lecture on chemistry this evening, and we started reading the book The Robe, a very fine evening. Vince and Raj are going to be good fellows. March 7th. I cut my 8 o'clock a.m. class and slept until 10.45 this morning. Psychology was very interesting. I talked with Dr. Renfro and Mr. Seaman this afternoon. I'm getting a little clearer picture of the job situation. The first few weeks in Los Angeles will very probably be rough. Had a late one with Nancy this evening. Very fine. March 8. Taylor gave us another good class this morning. I worked in lab for about an hour and had a very pleasant talk with Dr. Steiner. I think the chemistry department will help me in any way they can. Nancy had to be at Gables until 10 this evening because of a party for the veterans. So I went over my sociology until then. It seems that some joker in the Air Corps had been bothering her for two hours. His line was a little on the thick side. She was glad to see me and said she wished I had been there earlier. I do too. Oh well, just makes us appreciate each other all the more. I might say that we had one very large evening. Pop Dudley forgot to lock the front door at 12. March 9. I slept through sociology again and had a good psychology class. And forgot to say yesterday that Tony came in for a few days. I hitchhiked over to Sandusky this afternoon and picked up the ring. Then talked with Mother for about an hour and hitchhiked back in time to work supper. Nancy had a music lesson until 9.30 at Mr. Shaw's home, so I picked her up out there. Then I gave her the ring after we went back to Gables. We went to Rec and and hitchhiked out to Presti's. A A big evening. March 10. Nancy and I went to church this morning. After dinner, we went for a walk in the country and listened to the symphony. She came down in the kitchen at Gables while I fixed supper 
and Bruce and Jer came in during supper. He likes his new job very much. They're thinking of coming to Los Angeles in two years. This evening we listened to some symphony records in Rec Hall. They were really fine. She explained some of the technical angles to me. All very interesting. We had an unusually long session afterwards. March 11th. I worked breakfast this morning and went back to bed until noon. Then did a week's work in literature this afternoon. The book The Iliad is very interesting. Also did a little sociology. Nancy had another music lesson out at Mr. Shaw's house, so I picked her up out there about 9.30. We've decided to knock it off every evening at 10.30 so that she can get up for breakfast and get a lot of uh, practicing done on the piano in the morning. I think it's only fair to her to do that. The hot water system is still not repaired. March 12th. I slept through sociology again. Our new system is for Wes to take class notes, for me to take book notes. I worked on psychology this afternoon. We're studying emotions, and the topic is very interesting. Nancy and I went to wreck this evening and then took a long walk out to the ar- Arboretum. They're rather, rather cool, but pretty dry. Hope she doesn't catch cold. Wes stumbled in about two, having had a big evening. March 13th. I turned in 100 pages of German this morning and had another good class in literature and got our conductivity experiment lined up. Had quite a long chat with Ovington about women this evening. Mr. Dannenberg told Nancy this afternoon that she has great possibilities as a concert pianist. So her ambitions are red hot again and she wants to study in New York. I wonder what will come of this. March 14th. Today we ran off our conductivity experiment with, experiment with good results. We started at 8 this morning and finished at 10 this evening. A long day, but it was worthwhile. I got signed up for my voice lessons. March 15th. I messed up the chemistry quiz this morning. Damn it. Had a very fine chat with Dr. Holmes this morning. He suggested that I try to get an assistantship at UCLA and work off my master's before going to work think I'll try it. Nancy and I went to hear the Fran- Francescati violin concert this evening. Very enjoyable. We took a late purr. March 16th. Had our first psychology quiz this morning. Not too bad. Bob Slaughter and I hitched to Delaware, Ohio this afternoon in pretty fair time. Marge Freilich had a good supper ready for us. We went over to the Fidel house, house this evening and played ping pong and bridge. We finished up back at Harold and Marge Freilix playing cards and drinking beer. Bob is sleeping in the sleeping bag, and I'm sleeping on the cot. I missed Nancy like mad. March 17th. It started to rain this morning and kept raining all afternoon. Marge roasted her first chicken for us this noon and came up with a very good meal. Bob Slaughter and I borrowed an umbrella and a raincoat and started back to Oberlin this afternoon. Had a long wait and didn't make it back until 6. However, Bruce Partridge very thoughtfully worked for me. It was certainly great to see Nancy again. We really missed each other. We played symphony records in Rec Hall and then had a big session until 12 to make up for last night. March 18. I worked breakfast and slept through my 10 o'clock class as usual. We finally heard from Wayne Duff. It seems that his job didn't materialize and he's been hoofing hoofing it around, looking for another one. Tough break. I picked up Nancy. I picked Nancy up after a student recital this evening. March 19th. I slept through until 10.45 this morning. I'm practicing in the conservatory every afternoon now for an hour. Nancy helped me yesterday, and I did it by myself this afternoon. I really don't know beans about what I'm trying to do. This evening, we played a few records in the conservatory and went to the Oberlin Orchestra concert. It was terrific. They sounded just like the Cleveland Symphony. A very fine evening. March 20. I made it to all three classes this morning and did some work in lab this afternoon. A big day. Nancy and I went to a rather long student's recital this evening. She has a little blister on her lip, which I hope gets better fast. March 21. I missed my 8 o'clock a.m. class this morning, but had an interesting psychology class at 11. 
The three of us worked in the chemistry lab for a while, too. Nancy tried to explain the, the piano keyboard to me this afternoon, and I might say it was rather tough sledding. We listened to records until nine this evening. Ravel was very good, but I didn't like Stravinsky. March 22. I missed literature this morning, but got showered and shaved. Nancy and I took a walk this afternoon for nearly two hours. We strolled around back of the building here and looked for birds for a while. Very enjoyable. This evening we went up onto the second floor of Sturges and read Jean Christophe for nearly three hours. It's quite a book. Her mother finally seems to be re regarding her as a woman who can think for herself. March 23. Today was Nancy's birthday. She's 21 now. Dud sent her some red roses for me without cost. I slept almost all afternoon. So this evening we had a good talk and then went to the all college. Baskin was very good as usual. She seemed to get quite a bang out of my reaction to Jean Christophe. March 24. I worked breakfast this morning and we went to church. Nancy wore an enormous black hat and we were ushered clear down front. Red and I worked on physical chemistry this afternoon. This evening, Nancy and I went out to, to Dr. Shaw's home for a dinner party for his piano students. Very fine food. He played a Beethoven quartet for us in a Rachmaninoff symphony. I didn't get too much out of the quartet. We had quite a talk about it afterward. Lloyd Leitz seems to be a very fascinating boy. March 25. I slept through my 8 o'clock class again, or rather my 10, since this is Monday. Got quite a bit accomplished, though, this afternoon and this evening. Nancy and I read for a while later this evening. Red and I had a very interesting little chat about Nancy and Beth. It seems they're very similar in many respects. March 26. Finished up my physical chemistry report this afternoon and worked on chemistry this evening and a little sociology. No more dates until the end of the week. March 27. My conscience is starting to bother me a little bit in German. I hit the physical chemistry quiz, then worked all afternoon and all evening on sociology and finished the last 200 pages of it. Nancy is thinking of going to the opera in Cleveland next month with Lloyd Leitz because I am broke. I wonder what is going on in the back of her mind. March 28. I finished up 50 pages of psychology this afternoon and study this evening. Nancy and I had a little chat this evening, and I feel much better about the opera deal. It seems that she, Stan, Lloyd, and I are going to go in if I can get another ticket. March 29. My sore throat was gone this morning, but I have a cold in my head that's really a dandy. I hit, an, hit another chemistry quiz. Nancy and I listened to some records on Gable's back porch after lunch. The Beethoven trio was terrific. I had a good voice lesson despite the cold and found that I have to speak in, in a chemistry seminar next week. Wes and I went over the sociology this evening. March 30. This has been a big day. I think I did fairly well on both the blue book and the quiz. I had a little chat with Mr. Finan this afternoon. He thinks I should be doing A work in psychology. Nancy and I went over, over to the theology lounge this evening and read for a while. Then someone brought in some Gustav Mahler records and played them. Very enjoyable. I tried to leave Gables early this evening so that Nancy wouldn't catch my cold. However, she said that she would gargle with salt water and wouldn't catch it, so I stayed until after 12. I hope she doesn't catch it. March 31. We didn't make it to church this morning. Both of us slept clear through. This afternoon we sat in the Gables' parlors and listened to the symphony and had a fine old time. This evening, Red, Beth, Nancy, and I went out to Caskey's and had a picnic supper. The Canadian bacon was terrific, a big evening. Nancy told me this evening that she sees no reason why we couldn't get married next fall. I don't believe she really meant it. April 1. Since this is Monday, I worked breakfast and hit the sack again until nearly noon. I made a small start on my seminar report this afternoon. We had an April Fool's party at Gables this evening. Same old stuff. The first meeting of the freshman Y group went along very nicely this evening. 
Nancy has been in bed all day. However, she got up this evening, and I went over. We didn't have a house meeting since, since quite a few of the guys thought it was a joke. Nancy still thinks it would be a good idea to get married next fall. This hormone stuff is fascinating. April 2. I slept late this morning and had my third voice lesson this afternoon and did a little work on hormones. Nancy and I heard the Cleveland Symphony this evening. Leinsdorf is quite the joker. The second encore was quite a surprise. Nancy and I had a little too passionate a time afterwards. This business is going to have to be slowed down. The guys voted to have our house formal non-corsage. Damn it. April 3. Dr. Steiner okayed my seminar report this afternoon. I believe my talk went over all right this evening, although I did get confused in one spot. I'm pretty beat, so I'm sacking it out early. Had a quick one downtown with Red and Beth after the seminar. April 4. I slept late this morning. Nothing quite like sleep. I made a rapid re perusal of Beowulf and the Rape of the Lock this afternoon, then studied two hours this evening and worked on flower sales. I'll soon be caught up in everything. April 5. I hit the chemistry quiz cold this morning and heard from UCLA also. They sounded friendly. I talked with Dr. Holmes, Dr. Steiner, and Dr. Taylor about it. I probably have an outside chance of getting this teaching assistantship. Nancy and I went to Mr. Dannenberg's recital this evening. Very fine. Nancy and I didn't quit, didn't get quite as much studying done this evening as she should have. April 6th. Nancy and I poodle doodled all around all afternoon. We listened to some records down at the record shop and at the conservatory. Very fine afternoon. This evening she practiced until nine and then we went to a rather poor show. Red, Beth, and Jer went into Cleveland today. April 7. We went to church this morning and were together all afternoon. We got into another very discussion, serious discussion about music, Nancy and I. I still think we're going to come out all right. Bob Rankin and his wife had a supper for the Y cabinet this evening. After that, Nancy and I went to Natalie Henderson's home. Several of the best conservatory students were there. They had a big time sight reading chamber music. The Hendersons have two dogs and it seems that Nancy is allergic to dogs, so she really had a bad time. The fresh air seemed to help, help it though. April 8. I slept late this morning after working breakfast. Nancy and I got into a big schwantz session after lunch of all times. She had considerable trouble getting to sleep last night and was very tired today. I talked with Miss Weber, Weber this afternoon and filled out my application for the assistantship. I certainly hope it comes through. Nancy practiced it until 9 this evening. She had a rotten cold. Wished there was something I could do besides get her in early. April 9. I forgot to mention that I rolled, rolled a 241 yes, yesterday afternoon in, in bowling. Did some work on the formal this morning, but studied for a while this afternoon. Nancy and I went to Charlotte Bloker's master's recital this evening. It was very good. Nancy buzzed me after her counselor's meeting and I walked her home. Her cold is much better. April 10. Forgot to mention that Nancy and I have been engaged for one month yesterday. I sent her some red roses. We worked in lab this afternoon for a change, and I studied for a few minutes this evening, then had one late brew with the lads. We heard from Wayne Duff this afternoon. He has a job with Time Magazine and seems to be very much settled in his ways. He says he's quit smoking, drinking, and swearing. April 11. I slept late again this morning. I think I've been sleeping too much lately. My results in the chemistry lab this afternoon were unsatisfactory. Nancy went to a recital this evening while I studied. I went over to Gable's afterwards, and we got into a very serious discussion. Nancy seems very disturbed about music causing trouble between us. She says that every other factor is perfectly all right, but I am just, I am just simply not a mu musician. Well... I've known that all the while. She seems to change her mind about the situation every day or so, and I hope she makes up her mind definitely one of these days. April 12. 
I picked up a surprising 10 on my last physical chemistry quiz. Then followed up my quiz this morning, however. Hirsch and I finished the potential experiment in a rather haphazard way. Nancy practiced until 9 when I picked her up. Red, West, and I had a big time at the campus with our dates. April 13th. I only got a C- minus on my sociology blue book, not too sharp. Then decorated all afternoon for the house formal. Jer did the whole backdrop by herself. I was very tired this evening. Wes Simon got violently drunk on some brandy in Cleveland this afternoon. He was crumpled up on the floor when I came in after supper. Red, Bruce, and I worked on him for about three hours, and he finally made it to the form all right. Nancy and I had a fine time at the dance. April 14th. I worked breakfast and undecorated. Nancy and I went to an all-music service at First Church this morning. Very good. This afternoon, we played bridge, listened to the symphony, talked, and got supper ready. This evening, we saw the movie The Spiral Staircase, a good murder mystery. We had a little too long session afterwards. She was talking about not waiting two years again. Nothing but a big day. April 15th. I took care of about eight odds and ends this morning. We moved the chairs back into the auditorium after lunch and got some work done this afternoon. I had a long chat with Dr. Holmes this morning. He talked with Dr. Young at Atlantic City. Only one fellow showed up at our Y meeting this evening, so Red and I went over to the conservatory, and Nancy played through her whole recital for us. It was beautiful. I enjoyed the Chopin especially. I thought this evening, evening that we were really getting somewhere with music. April 16th. We had a very good psychology class this morning. This conditioning business is very interesting. I worked most of the afternoon and evening on a physical chemistry report, then worked on flower sales late this evening. Don't like quite so much work at once. To be continued. Well, uh, 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 good luck to you with your efforts in uh, family history, if this is something that interests you, in finding, sharing, and preserving old family letters, diaries, and photographs, and and interviewing elderly relatives while they're alive. Thank you so much for watching. We'll continue next time. God bless you. Take care, and I'll see you next time.